Well, the question of the relationship between liberalism and modernity is very, very interesting, and it's a subject of many, many discussions of not just historians, but also sociologists and also philosophers and anybody who cares about people in society. Um, there are a number of th and economists as well um, have a lot to say about that. In Canada, the until quite recently, most historians would have said that well, they wouldn't have called it liberalism. They would have just said like the modern world or or urbanization or some of the other words that that fell in for that would associate liberalism with the changes that occurred in the late 19th century. And those are changes to do with industrialization and urbanization. And not so often talked about are the restructuring of, of Canada's economy as a result of and contributing to those changes of industrialization and urbanization. So for the first time with industrialization, you have an economy that's not primarily based on people uh, living on their own land and getting most of their energy, particularly food energy, from the land. So, because of course in urbanization, uh, there's a small space with a lot of people living on it. Uh, that's not been possible for, for most of history because people need actually quite a lot of land to get the resources that they need to live. So a family probably would need like one to five acres. Um, if they were just doing all the work themselves to get the food, to get the fuel for heating and cooking and, and all of those things. What urbanization uh, brought about was a sort of a crushing of people into uh, much smaller spaces. I would argue that that was made possible by fossil fuels, the, the new forms of energy and, and, and hydroelectricity, which allowed um, which allowed people to, to get energy from elsewhere in a concentrated form and bring it into their own homes uh, in, in the city, in cities and towns. So in Canada, those changes are widely to be believed to have happened or occurred in the late 19th century. My own work as a, as a rural historian suggests that those changes came, the change to urbanization and industrialization came much, much later to Canada. 1941 was the census year where more people, for the very first time ever in Canadian history, more people were living in towns and cities with more than a thousand people in it. So before 1941, the vast majority of people were living in towns of a thousand or in rural areas. So that's it. And even by 1961, most people were, st were still living, well, 1961 for the first time, people were living in communities smaller than 5,000. So Canada is the, when historians often talk about the 1870s or the 1890s or the early 21st century as being a time when people, most Canadians, uh, became urban and industrial, it's, it's simply not true. So the relationship to liberalism of urbanization and industrialization are rooted in the different kinds of social relations people have to each other when you're living in a place um, where you don't have direct access to the natural bounty of, of the land or, or water. So there have to be uh, more complicated systems of organizing people in order to deal with the fact that you have many, many people who need to be fed, they need to be housed, they need to have work to do. The, um, so under liberalism, what gradually, gradually emerged throughout, through the 19th century was a way of uh, thinking about governance, a way of thinking about individuals that didn't have to do with, say, in Canada, that was something else in addition to, to families living on a farm, working together, getting some of their food from the land, um, taking that, selling some things, getting a little bit of money. And so that's sort of a one kind of political economy. Under liberalism, liberalism is a, it's not a form of governance. It's a set of, let's just say it's a set of beliefs about how people can live together and work together inside a political economy, that is politics and, and economics, to have a functioning society. So liberalism, and again, the term is very, very slippery, but basically under liberalism, people um, 
put the individual ahead of the family. This is the theory. Of course, it's not. It's not always a practice. And they work. Um, people work individually and then live together in, in much larger spaces and, and more concentrated spaces.